Okay, I've been muted the whole time. See, this is fucking bullshit. I'm having a horrible time already. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, is it working now? I know it was working before. I'm just pissed off because my internet wasn't working and then I had this muted so that you guys couldn't hear me screaming at my internet. And there we go. Um, anyways, welcome back to fucking broke ass fucking modem doesn't work very well because the plugin for my uh, ethernet cord is like fucked up and I need to get another modem but also the internet service here sucks because all the rednecks are too worried about avoiding the backseat to fix their fucking internet boys. Um, I'm Timmy Williams, I'm from the Whitest Kids You Know, and we're using, uh, we, we're on Twitch to, so that people can make fun of us for not knowing how to do anything, and also so that we can uh, fund an animated film called Mars. And uh, it's fun, this is my cooking show, Zucchini Boys, I haven't been on in a little bit, I missed the last self suck, I didn't do Zucchini Boys last week because we got, uh, we were filming the new Buckerson and Myers, and um, it's uh, just, uh, you know, a lot of stuff's happening. But anyways, uh, this is what I'm making. And uh, we're going to get right into it. Because I actually kind of got a lot to do tonight. In fact, i got to get the water boiling. Let's do that. So, um, is my sound good? Do I need to turn on my gain at all? Or, all right. You know what? It's not even a glimpse into my life. Because normally I have it more together than, than other people on this channel, I think. But, uh, you know, normally the show starts and it's fine. Sometimes my mic is muted. But that's just because I'm so fucking loud and so fucking annoying and I do so much fucking swearing and screaming sometimes that I just need to mute the mic, you stupid assholes, right? What? See, I should have muted it. All right, let's, uh, what do we do first? Okay, so we're making uh, chicken fajitas, which I'll get to in a little bit. I'm going to make refried beans or pinto beans. See, first I'm going to pressure cook the pinto beans and uh, they might already be really good. Then I might refry them. We'll see. Is that the apple scented Dawn dish soap? Oh, you're so close. You forgot that I'm a cheap ass generic piece of shit. So this is cheap ass generic piece of shit green apple dish soap, not Dawn, you know? Compared to other streams, this is quiet. All right. If I did, you know what? If so, there's, if there wasn't at least eight people complaining about my sound for the first 14 hours of my stream, I would just think I wasn't actually online. So anyways, um, is it better now? You little bastards. The apart soap works well on plastic. I don't know what that means. Okay, so um, first up, we're going to get the beans. we got to get the beans ready for the Instant Pot. So I've got soaked beans in here. I still haven't picked out the rocks. I'll have to pick out the rocks. But also, we got to cut up some veggies. So. All right, cool. Now, I didn't get out a lot of my ingredients. I should do that. I need chili powder and cumin <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. So, Timmy is Red Nose Day. Who's that? Oh, okay. Never mind. Forgot to ignore you. Okay. Natural light versus the overhead. Good choice. See, I never use, I have not used the overhead in like seven months. And I know you've been here before. So, congratulations on your new sobriety. Okay. So, um,. What do we need? I need uh, chili powder, black pepper. That one's easy. Cuban. Need some salt. Speaking of Midwestern internet, mine is lagging like a bitch. Yeah, it happens. East, East Coast internet running nice and quick. All right. Well, you know, you guys also have, like, you know, black people in more than three restaurants. So you just get all the cool stuff. I'm sorry. We suck over here. Where the fuck is all that? Did I, uh, did I have, did I not buy the spices that I need? That'd be interesting. It's in here somewhere. I have a lot of spices, by the way. There's the chili powder. How am I gonna, no, I don't need that. So, okay, so I'm gonna get the, uh, beans going here. And then I'm going to, well, I'm already boiling the water to put potatoes in, okay? 
And then I'm going to get the chicken fajitas going, which I think even though it's the main course is like the easiest thing. And then um, I'm going to make potato olays. Now, everyone on the East Coast internet, haha, <laughs> now you lose out because you probably don't know what fucking potato olays are. Potato olays are like the, uh, like, so it's like the holy grail of Midwestern fucking inter or internet, uh, chain restaurant. Also, sorry I got thrown off because someone said to cut my hair, so, you know, uh, sorry you don't feel comfortable with yourself. Um, all right, so sorry about your boner that I gave you with my sweet hair. Um, okay, I, I use this cumin, I guess. I accidentally bought cumin seeds instead of cumin once, and then I just ground them myself, so, no, wait, these aren't ground, these are, full. oh, Jesus Christ, why did that come out? There it is. It's been right here the whole time, dude. All right, that goes back. That doesn't, I don't need that. This I might need. Okay, cool. Oh yes, uh, so I can't yell at Barb anymore. I think, uh, you know, golly, you gone for two weeks and internet time is 500 years, but remember I got a neighbor. But, I just wanted to say but. But, my new neighbor is gone right now. So, you're back for the week, Barb! Oh, gloves for this shit, right? Because we all know, whenever I cook with jalapeno on here, if I can get loosey-goosey with the, with the fucking juices, and then I'll go in the bathroom and yo, go pee, touch my pee-pee, my, my dick, my schlonger, right? And get that stuff everywhere, you know? Yes, but okay, so I was talking about potato lays, taco gel style. Yes, so here's what I'm going to do. You know, I, and if you've never seen the show before, I don't make up my own recipes. I'm definitely not that smart. If you've watched Whitest Kids and then come to Twitch and watch this cooking show and expect someone from that idiot sketch comedy show to make up their own recipes, no. I look them up on the internet and I make them, and it's fine. I always link them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook the day of. I did that about five hours ago, six hours ago. So anyways, um, what are we doing here? I'm seeding this and chopping. Um, so yes, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to get the beans going, then I'm going to get the potatoes going for potato olays. Now, potato olays are these little potato coins. They're a lot like potato, uh, like tater tots, only they are flat circles. And so I'm actually just using a homemade tater tots recipe I found. And then that's not what makes potato olays potato olays. What makes them them is the spice mix. And you know, it's one of those things, you know, that restaurants like to do where they pretend they have found some secret. I know I'm just completely brutalizing this pepper. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm talking. Anyways, um, it's, it's, a, it's a special spice mix. I used to think it was just Lowry salt. I'm now, I now know the error of my ways. And so uh, I will be making the spice mix for potato lays and then frying them in some oil. Yeah, so potato lays is, uh, or Taco John's is actually from Montana, I want to say. And, uh, you know, my daughter's going to be eating these anyway, so it's okay that I'm completely obliterating this pepper because uh, she, she probably wouldn't like me having much in there anyways. It's okay. She's young, you know, young people are cowards. So, okay, where's that? Let's get that chopped up with my kick-ass blade. I believe it's from Montana. Don't quote me on that. However, I will tell you, if you're driving west, if you're driving out west, you drive through the Midwest, what'll happen? Okay, let's say you're driving coast to coast, right? You come from, like, New York or Jersey, Florida, somewhere, and you're coming through the country, you go through the Midwest, and you get addicted to Taco John's. It'll happen if you stop once, especially potato lays. Their tacos and stuff are good. Uh, potato lays are their best thing, and because uh, they're the only they're the only ones that do them, right? So, anyways, you come through the Midwest, you get horribly addicted to potato lays. You should know that if you're driving towards like Portland or Seattle or Vancouver, Canada, somewhere up there, BC, that you uh, you gotta drive through Montana and then. Right in the middle of Montana, I want to say near, not Bo, is it Bozeman? Maybe Billings, maybe Billings. Uh, the last Taco John's, like, 
in like in the west, right? And then if you go further west, there's no more Taco John's. So, a little if you're gonna travel through the northwest or into Canada or anything out that way, and you're addicted to potato lays, there you go. All right, so this guy's chopped up all right. It's a very sharp knife that uh, I've been talking about for the last couple streams that uh, a viewer sent me. And we appreciate it, Adam, from Carter Cutlery. But uh, I did, I, he told me that I've taken been taking good care of it. He could tell on the stream that I've been taking good care of it. However, since the last one, I accidentally used a, too rough of a scratch pad to clean something off it and got a little scratchy stuff on it, but it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Twice baked potatoes? Dude, twice baked potatoes rule. That's not what I'm making, though. All right, so we gotta do... Yeah, okay, we're just gonna put these in here for now. Get them out of the way. Get that capsaicin out of the way, you know? I think it's gonna be funny. It's probably a good recipe for comedy that the first thing I cut on this cutting board tonight is jalapenos, because I'm gonna be using this cutting board a lot. I'm gonna be chopping shit up like the whole time, so good for me. All right, let's get the beans. Also, I realized it's probably stupid of me, who doesn't like being annoyed by things, to uh, make refried beans this week. Does anybody know why? Because on the official Whitest Kids YouTube channel this week, Sam Brown uploaded an HD version of Baked Beans and the commentary of us talking about it from a while back. So, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll get some newbies in here. They're like, <laughs> beans! You know. Um, and they just can't fathom the idea that the dude who is in the beans thing has, like, also eats beans sometimes. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I did that sick bean can right now. I'm supposed to be looking for rocks in these, but I think we'll just look for them later with our teeth. Who's talking about Culver's? Hell yeah, Cul Cul Culver's. I almost said Fulgers. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Play us out? Play us out? Yes, I'm the dog from the Beans commercials. Woof. All right. Oh, that woof was to your joke. Sorry. But also woof, I'm a dog. Okay. Uh, what do we want? We want the, 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 half a small white onion chopped. All right. Oh, now our onion, our onion, this is the onion, our water for the taters is boiling. So we'll get that taken care of. Too many things already happening. Too many things already happening at once. I mean, that water can boil for a little bit. Given that we've been going through some wild-ass temperature changes here in the Midwest this week, and with Watertown soft to coot, uh, maybe I could use a little steam, because I tell you what, when it's 80 on Saturday and then gets to 48 on Thursday, it kind of fucks with you, you know? So, get a little mist in the air, a little steam. I'm wasting away. How am I losing weight? Okay, I have lost seven or eight pounds or something since I last was on the street, but I lost it. Okay, a lot of people, I don't know. You know the show, we're not making the sketches anymore. That was a long time ago. So I was fat a long time ago. And then I got even fatter And when I wasn't doing anything on TV. Then 2018, I lost a bunch of weight. Well, then the pandemic happened last year and everybody got fat. Except like the couple of psychos that got cut because they're fucking crazy. Uh, you know, and so I put on a bunch more weight, and so now I'm trying to get back down. So, yeah, I finally started paying attention to it again uh, over the last couple weeks here. And uh, I'll tell you, all I do, and all I did when I, I lost 85 pounds in 2018, which in about uh, 10 months of 2018. And um, all I did was count my calories. 
using the app Lose It. So I'm using Lose It again, and you know what? My big problem is snacking at night, and you know, the, the thing with Zucchini Boys is that I start late, I start cooking, well, I'm not eating dinner till 8.30 or 9 anyway, so that's fine. But other nights, my problem is eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner at normal times, and then snacking on a bunch of shit at night. But you get over it a couple times, and you're good, you know? So that's, uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I have successfully banished that behavior, because you know what? It's like, yes, it's fun to eat snacks. And that's the other thing. Like, I'm never going to do a diet where I, like, uh, cut anything out. Because food's good and you only live once, you know? It's like all that shit that's like, all you have to do to put 100, all you have to do to put 20 years on, on your life is be miserable for 40. You know, like, no, I'm not going to fucking, like, dude, life is hard. You think I'm going to not eat fucking cheese? Get the fuck out of here. So anyways, I just watch my portions and stuff and it works for me. Um, and you know, but a lot of that stuff you snack on at night, like, like if you're mean, you kind of binge snacks at night, like, it's not even fun to eat, you know, you're just eating like a, like way too many chips, you know? So, yeah, it's just not a bit. All right, potatoes. We're going to start putting these in. Um, I actually forgot to look up. Yeah, okay. I'll just do it six or seven minutes, okay. Drain well and let cool. You know what? I think I am maybe doing things in a good order. I just, uh, the veggies, there's so many veggies to chop that I'm kind of starting to freak out, but it's okay. Zucchini Boys needs a sous chef. Okay, also, since I am uh, making Taco John's potato olays, and I do live somewhere where Taco John potato olays are readily available, I thought, well, we should do a taste test, right? But here's the thing. I can't leave during the stream and go get them. If I had this shit portable, that'd be kind of fun to actually go through the drive through uh, so then I thought about, well, what if I get them before the stream? But no, because then it'd, get, it'd be cold by the time they're, that the other ones are ready so that we can taste them. So, uh, my handsome brother, David, who hung out on the show once, several months back, is going to be bringing in some allays later on tonight. So that's fun. The last time David was on, I didn't have, like, I still had a shitty camera. So once you guys see my handsome brother, David, in HD, like, it's over for me. You're probably going to kick me out as the host bring him on you know he's a good guy anyways he's gonna bring him a lays so we're gonna have two of us there taste testing and seeing it's not to see what's better because i mean taco john potato lays fucking rule but we'll see if i get close you know taco john was definitely a racist probably it was like a cowboy guy and cowboys were racist right i mean shit did you watch deadwood holy shit i'm not saying deadwood was real life but i mean as far as filmic pre representations of the old western it's probably up there with realism for realism Although Swearingen supposedly was a lot weirder in real life. <laughs> like, he'd be like cutting deals and just like, I'll suck your dick too. Am I a gamer boy? Do I play the video games? Yes. I'm not going to tonight. Too much to do. Too many tasks. I'll be back gaming next week probably. I do a Monday night gaming stream, not every Monday, but every couple of Mondays, you yeah. know? And I've been jumping between video games a lot, but I'm thinking I'm almost done peeling potatoes. So if people are watching, like, why is that guy just showing us his slowly retreating hairline? Okay. Going in, Barb. Put in the potatoes, Barb! We got taters in the back, Barb! Okay, where were we? Half an onion chopped. Okay. What kind of potatoes? Uh, raw. Raw potatoes. 
the russets. You're going to do fries or baked potatoes. And, you know, potato lays are a form of fries. They're basically round tape. Uh, they're flattened tater tots, essentially. Uh, anyways, that's what you do. And so, you know, I could easily do the Taco John's potato lace thing by just buying. You can buy those coins at the store, like the potato coins and frozen sack. I want to fucking do it, you know? I want to do it for real. So we'll see what happens. What's my go-to snacks? Well, I'll tell you what. So I've been trying to defeat this whole midnight snacking thing. So when I was there, I would just grab... I mean, I loved chips. I really like chip. I would... Okay, when I'm just fat and don't care, I'll get a bag of tortilla chips and just like a can, like a jar of that like dip in cheese, you know, like queso or whatever, like Tostitos brand or whatever, old Dutch brand here in the Midwest. Anyways, uh, I'll do that and just like fucking eat it cold and eat a whole bunch, like eat an entire thing of it. It's terrible. Um, but now, so I'm tr I was trying to avoid the fucking night snacks, right? I had to get over that shit. So, my girlfriend had an idea. She said, uh, you know, why don't you get like a snack that's like really nice and you eat it as like a treat and not all the time, you know? And uh, so I've been getting like really nice, and I had some on the last stream. Uh, like really good like like pepperoni like a log and I cut like an ounce of it off at a time and have a little bit of that with maybe with some cheese it's very it's it's very decadent very good you know oh uh, you know what I gotta do some thank yous also excuse me I belched <laughs> okay oh my thing isn't updating great okay well thank you to everybody who is uh, donating and subscribing maybe I can fucking get this figured out no? Maybe that'll work. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you to... Get that back. Okay. I think I spot a hater in the chat. Whatever. There's always haters in the chats. There's people who just don't understand a dude who's comfortable with himself. Like, that's really what it comes down to, I think. And the thing is... Is I have, I'm riddled with mental problems, so I'm not really comfortable with myself. But I think people don't like that I'm comfortable with not being comfortable with myself, you know? So. It's like, we're all fucking nuts, man. Like, get into it. Live it up, fuckers. Have I talked to Zach at all recently? You know what? I haven't. Also, let's talk about this. Talk about Zach. Talk about the other boys. Uh, we have a Patreon now. It's patreon.com slash wkukofficial. It's like this, the name of this one, only backwards, okay? And there's a $1 level and a $5 level, and there's more that go up from there. Once you're in at the $5 or more level, you get a weekly erotica written by one member each week. Um, I have not read Darren's, and Trevor's first one is yet to come. But so far, uh, well, mine was about me. I mean, that'd be... Yeah, mine was about me. Because, yeah, I'll fucking fuck. Sure. So mine was about me, right? Uh, Sam's was about me. Zach's was about me. Did anyone read Darren's? Was his about me yet? I'm sure some of you guys have. And Trevor called me last night about his, and I'm excited, so... Dude, if you actually jerked it to my erotica, you know, good for you. Uh, I gotta get right in part part two, because I'm up next, uh, well, Trevor's will be next week, and then mine will be due for June, right? So, uh, gotta fucking get going on it. Mine next one is probably gonna involve bestiality. So, have fun. I know, normally you'd think Darren's or Trevor's would, and I didn't, re like, I didn't get to Darren's yet, so, uh, maybe it did. I just need to sit down and read all of them, you know? Like, get a pipe and some slippers. You know? Just fucking enjoy my friends writing about me fucking, you know? Five dollars a month going here, Patreon. You know what? It's up to you. Honestly. If we get it, we get it. Yep, it's cool. Thank you. Either way. Okay, soap beans, okay. Put pinto beans in the inside. Add the water, remaining ingredients, except for the salt, and stir to combine. Okay, so let's get the garlic in there. 
Alright, I'm done cutting stuff for a few minutes. Let's do... Okay, one teaspoon. Oh my god, there's like no cumin left. I'm having the worst time with cumin today. Well, I'll just have to do it. Chili powder. What else do I need in there? A quarter teaspoon of black. Yep. Yep, white pepper bear. What? What else do I need? I need, oh, you know what, let's do this. Remember those cumin seeds I talked about earlier? Let's use them, huh? Let's fucking make some more ground cumin ourselves, bitch motherfucker, right? Okay, uh, where's my hammer? This is a time when it'd be great to have that other camera I keep saying I'll get, but never do. You know what? No, this isn't the way to do this. I need a mortar and pestle, but I don't have one. That's, that's fine. Hold on a second. You know what I'll do? I think I know what to do. Here we go. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it, Barb? Oh my god. You know, I'm normally, lately, you gotta give it to me. I've been pretty prepared for this show. You know, I've had everything set up. I know where things are. I'm not freaking out. And now it's like, today, just, I don't know. You know what it is? It's mercury in retrograde, right? That's the fucking problem. Let's admit it. Let's admit it. Alright. You know what? I got too much to do. We can just go with a little less cumin in the beans. It's fine. I'm gonna, like, this is fine. I'm just gonna get rid of this. It's fine. I'm giving myself too much to do. And sometimes when you're cooking and you start getting on yourself about, like, this is not perfect, it's like, you know what? Just fucking back off yourself, bruh. You know? So it's fine. Everything's fine. Extravagant decadent pepperoni snacks. You know, thank you. That's fun, isn't it? All right, Dan. Oh, that should go on recycling, you dumb bastard. Four cups of water. I'll get those beans going, and then I'll start chopping up stuff for the fajitas. I am peeing in a cup off screen that I'm going to put in the beans. Make my own special recipe, piss beans. You guys like piss beans? Yeah. I'm piss beans. Pour beans on myself for nostalgia. I remember it fine and enjoy the memories. I think you should pour beans on yourself for nostalgia. Okay. There's that. Now that was some good ass ASMR. I know it was. Okay. Put pinto beans in the instant pot. Add the water and remaining ingredients except for the salt and stir to combine. Let's get a thing to stir it with. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now this is just going to be pinto beans, right? But uh, I'm probably going to turn them into refried beans, but they do look good. So it's just beans, spices, uh, several vegetables put together. All right, now I'm using my Instant Pot, which is still one of the best purchases I've ever made, for sure. Delightful product. 
Mm-hmm. By the way, I've never made... I've, I think I've made chicken fajitas before. Most of the stuff I've not made before. Okay, soaked beans, 15 minutes. Okay, so this is going to be actually... This is going to take a while because it's also got to naturally release for 15 minutes, which I didn't read because I'm an idiot. Anyways. Oh, mine always takes like a minute longer. We'll do one more minute on there. Okay. Okay, so. Cool. All right, what's up next here? You think what's more like a crock pot? Okay, you're all right. Which is something I know people love to be totally internet. It doesn't happen very often. Um, yes, but you're all right because the Instant Pot is a pressure cooker. Yes. But mine is the fancy one. I got it for sale last year right when those first stimmies hit. And mine does slow cooking, and you can also set a timer for it, which is really, really great. And yeah, it's good. We all enjoy it. Okay, so where's that? Um, I might do that. We'll see. Okay, what do we need for this? Half a cup chopped onion. Kind grandmother stuck in a dungeon master's body. I assume you're describing me, and I'll accept that one. It reminds me of something I was thinking of. Okay, so when I promoted the show today, and... Man, I'm fucking murdering this thing. Here, we're going to do this one instead for the fajitas. When I uh, promoted the show today, and I was sharing my refi... Uh, you know, I, f I share the recipes I found in case people want to do the things exactly like I'm doing it. Um... I uh, said that my refried beans recipe was like an easy mom recipe. And I realized I did not go into enough description there because, like, what I meant was, like, moms, you know, like Midwestern moms who, like, make cultural shit, but they make white up version, whitened up versions of it, right? Like, I'm a mom buster, and moms mean business, you know? Like, if you're watching, the last time I was on Self Suck, we watched uh, the homeschool sketch like that, right? That's what I meant. However, I should have clarified, like, I should have said it's like a white soccer mom version of refried beans. Because here's the thing. If you just say it's a mom version of refried beans, right? Well, probably most of the best batches of refried beans ever made were probably made by fucking moms and grandmas, right? Who are also moms. So, you know, I fucked up there, you know? Anyways, uh, and that's what I always ask, like, you know. Like, I would love, you know, here in this podunk in Western town, I would love more people's grandmas from different countries to get involved in, like, open restaurants, right? Wouldn't that be nice? So this fajitas recipe, you talk about, like, whited up Midwestern versions. This fajitas recipe says you should chop the onions, but I think slices are better in a fajita, right? Where you just have, like, onion slices in there? Am I crazy? I think I'm right. All right, well, there's a, there's enough. All right. So, yeah, the kind of moms I'm thinking of, that I was thinking of when I said that, pronounce the word mom like M-A-H-H-H-M. -H 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 -M. I'm a mom, you know? Okay, honestly, it doesn't matter how you cut the onions. You know what? I was looking for people to actually tell me what they thought instead of, like, that kind of tone where it's like, I know what to do. Um, all right, so what else do I need to do here? You know what? I forgot to look this up. What the fuck does julienne mean? I forgot. It means small slices, right? Yeah, like sticks, long, thin strips. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Oh, I already 
fucking took that stuff out, didn't I? Oh, yeah, because I'm living in the fucking Midwest, they're always screwing up with the peppers, and there wasn't any good ones. I had to buy this gross, fake, fucking... I hate this pre-packaged shit. I don't like packaging on produce, man. I don't like, uh, I don't even put most of my produce in a bag at the grocery store. I don't like that. It's like, it's, it's just, uh, it's just apples. I don't need the apples in a fucking bag. And I don't need to put them in the fridge. God, I'm not some kind of fucking alien, you know? You guys know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's like, why are these peppers fine? Fucking suspicious-ass pepper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why are you... Why aren't you dead along with your brethren? What the fuck did you do? Fucking vampire pepper, cannibal pepper, fucking eating their brothers and sisters? I feel like tonight's show would be best watched in one or three second clips that have no context, right? Okay, but let's get back to people who refrigerate their apples. What I call, or as I like to call them, criminals. Uh, I just don't get it. My family does it. That's why I moved out. What the fuck? I think, here, here's my theory, okay? I think that, the, well, the 50s fucked us up on food. Like, the 50s fucked up Americans, Americans' philosophy on food preparation and what food is and our relationship with it. And, you know, they use technology and chemicals to convince us that everything needs to be, like, fucking... Um, totally, uh, like, inundated with fucking cleanliness, right? And, like, everything's supposed to be cold and perfectly clean. And, like, take all the life out of your food is kind of what, they, what the 50s did to us, right? And I think that... Uh, you know, it's like you don't have to, you know, if you have farm fresh eggs, like eggs that came from your chickens yesterday, you don't have to refrigerate them for two weeks. You know what I mean? Like, and if you're worried if they're bad, you just get a bowl of water, put the eggs in it, and if they float, they're bad. If they sink, they're fine. Like, you, you can just do that, right? You don't have to refrigerate your apples either. Just fucking eat them. You know, leave them out. And they're nice. They're nice at room temp, you know? Where did I get that opinion? Netflix? No, I got it from thinking for myself and reading books. You piece of shit. All right. You know, my stand-up at one point was a lot of rants about the fucking fake-ass stupid agricultural industry, you know? Better care of this knife. There we go. All right, I think I'm cool on that. Cool on that. All right. You're starting your own veggie garden? Good for you. I need to go on Master Chef. You need to not tell me what I need to do. Dude, why would I? I don't, is it, is it, wait, is Master Chef? Master Chef's not the one with that shithead, right? Anyways, I don't want to talk to shitheads. All right. But yeah, that's cool to start your own veggie garden. I, I ventured into urban farming, gardening, organic gardening licenses at one point. Okay, so what am I doing? I uh, got my uh, half a medium sweet red pepper, half a medium green red pepper. Green red pepper? Really, Timmy? Fucking moron. Okay, so... Okay. Four green onions thinly sliced. I think those are right here. I keep all my produce just in a pile on the dirty floor. I mean, what's wrong with that? Yeah? Floor produce gag. Am I going? Yeah. Don't need to. 
No, let's talk about it. You know what? I like to take trolls on head on because so many of them are just total morons, just total garbage. Here's the thing. If you're going to come on here and try and troll me, remember that uh, I was, for several years, got paid to get made fun of people who were good at it. Trevor, Zach, Sam, and Darren. Okay, so if you're gonna come on here and be like, is it the chastity Boda look? You just make yourself look like a fucking mark, because A, obviously it's transphobic, but B, it's like, uh, like you just see like a chubby guy with long hair. Oh, the truth, I want the damn it! You know, it's like you're just trying to think of something horrible to say, like, good for you. Why don't you fucking get a writing team and also a fucking conscience and heart and then come back and try and be funny, you dumb asshole? Thank you for your donations, though. Okay, the, one of the books I read about all that is called The Animal Vegetable Miracle by Barbara Kingsolver, and she uh, went out, and uh, her and her family, she's a writer, written a bunch of like novels, but her and her husband and their kids decided to go a whole year only eating what they could grow or get within like a 10 or 20 mile radius or something, so pretty cool. And they did, they did it. They found out that turkeys can drown themselves by standing in the rain and looking up. Mosh Pits Cafe, Cafe is absolutely right. I think a lot of people do uh, when they troll us. They're like, if I'm enough of a jack, of a, like a shithead, I'll just get on the show. It's like, you know, but we're not just shitheads, right? We're, uh, we're also old. Okay, so I'm done with these peppers for now. Let's get this out of the way. But we're also, like, nicer than that, really, in a way. You know, so, like... Anyways, fuck you. Okay, so, uh... Man, I got too many things happening here. Need to cool off for a second. Okay, the potatoes are cooling off. But my brother's gonna be here before too long. And he's going to be bringing the other potato lays, which means I need to get these potato lays ready to go. All right, they're going to cool off for a little bit more. Let's make sure that this is all good. Um, all right, cool. I'm making the fajitas in my cast iron. I'm going to get a different cutting board for the chicken. Save these vegetables for use in a moment. Maybe I'll get some other gloves out for handling that gross-ass chicken. You know? Where did I get the knife? A listener, watcher, fan, Twitch streamer, the, the fucking friend, viewer? Um, makes knives, uh, Carter Cutlery in Portland, and he asked me, he's like, can I make you a knife? I was like, hell yeah, you can make me a knife. And he showed me, like, the process over the couple months while he was getting in, because he didn't make just this knife, he made a whole bunch at one time, like a batch, that's what he does for his job. And so, um, he was showing me the process on Instagram, it was fucking, like, sending me messages and stuff, it was really cool. And, uh... He sent me the knife and then some DVDs about taking care of the knife, and it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Adam, for that. And he told me that I'd been doing a pretty good job at taking care of the knife. And right after he told me that, I went and used a, like, a really tough, scrubby thing to scrub some stuff off the knife and scratch it on the sides. But it's still, like, fine, you know, so. All right. Okay. All right, the beans are now cooking, so it's going to be a little while before they're done, but that's okay. There you go. Can I order one of those knives? Yeah, if he's in here, dude, throw up the, uh, throw up, please. Just throw up all over yourself. No, throw up the uh, link. Oh, hey, are, yeah, do we have do we have problems? Do I like horror movies? Yes, I do like horror movies. Are you the person that's going to tell me to watch uh, Psycho Gorman because it's on Shutter now? Because there's somebody that always suggests Psycho Gorman, and I'll fucking get to it. I'll, there's a lot of things I have on my mind and on my list. All right. Okay. Alright, cool. 
Many hacks for cutting onions without crying like a biatch. Uh, first of all, men can also cry. Strong men also cry. Um, you started to cure some egg yolks. That's interesting, Sleeve. I like that. Timmy, who do you think would win a three versus three steel cage match between the team of Frankenstein's monster, the Wolfman of Dracula, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and Michael Myers? Well, Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman have more of a magical strength where the other guys, Freddy's magic, the other guys are just kind of undead. So I don't know. You know what? I think I'd enjoy watching that. What do you guys think, right? I'm using a bread knife to cut the chicken. I'm sure anybody who knows more about cooking than me, which is everybody, uh, is probably like, God, what the fuck is the matter with you? Mm. Freddy would win? I don't know. Uh, yo, who... I don't want to... I don't know. Does is it does it still spoiling if I talk about the endings or revelations therein of Freddy's dead and also Jason goes to hell? Like, does anyone care if I talk about the thing in those movies and why, like, how they're sort of the same thing and it's very strange? Oh, a scissors! You know what? I was gonna do that with the fucking ah. You're right. I even had it ready over here. Let's do that instead. Fuck, I just touched that with my chicken gloves. Ugh, chicken gloves. Okay. Anyways. Okay, Jason Goes to Hell is an awful movie. Okay, Jason Goes to Hell and Freddy's Dead were both at the time considered to be the, you know, supposed to be the last movies in the franchises, but that didn't happen. Um... Does anybody know what the similarity is? It's a bullshit, shitty writing similarity that they both do in the last movie. Anybody know? Do I own a mortar and pestle? No. I would have used it earlier had I. Anybody know? Huh? The Freddy Glove at the end with the Jace Mask? No, 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 no. Nope. No, it's not about, like, the actual ending or how they actually end up tying them together. I'm talking about both movies re reveal something about their main character, main monster. Yes! Christopher1244 got it. Okay, so in Freddy's Dead, they're, like, they reveal, like, the reason Freddy's so cool and so crazy and such a horrible murderer is because he's possessed by, like, demon worms, dude. Isn't that fucking... Is that fucking crazy, man? You know? And then Jason goes to hell. It's like the reason Jason like always comes back and you can like kill him and chop off his head and shit and he always comes back is <sighs> because he's like got fucking crazy demon worms. Yeah. Yeah, the worm th the worm thing is dumb enough and then when you watch both movies you're like, "Wait, seriously they both did it?" Like cuz those movies are made kind of close together too, weren't they? So what the fuck? Your uncle had that, Worm Demons. Sorry to hear that. You know, this is too slow. Fuck this. I'm going back to bread knife. I thought the scissors was a good idea. I'm going to do this instead. I got too much to do tonight. I got to get these potatoes going for the potato lays. I mean, pretty liberal with what I'm cutting off the chicken because it doesn't look like that great a chicken. And, uh, you know, I don't like the fatty shit. Yeah, so... Jason Goes to Hell was your first instance of seeing on-screen boobs, so you got to get praised as a masterpiece. You know what? That's uh, that's always a hallowed trademark in any youngster's life, right? My friend Ross had the boob tape because his mom had HBO, and so he would watch HBO. He'd put a I'm older, right? So VCRs. So he he would put a he had a blank tape in his VCR. He'd put it in there at night, and like just scroll through HBO, Skinamax, whatever. And I look for titty seeds and like tape them on the movie. So he had this sweet fucking tape that was like, uh, you know, the nude scenes from uh, Rising Sun, nude scenes from uh, that movie about the leeches. Uh, I don't know, it's a bunch of random shit. It's been a long time. But yeah. Okay, so what do I need to put in here? Four tables. And a large bowl. Holy shit, you guys. 
I forgot to marinate the chicken. Damn it. That's okay. We'll do a quick version of the marinade. It's fine. God damn it. God damn it, though. But you know what? I didn't read all my instructions. And, you know, the thing is, what people maybe don't realize is that I don't just do this. A lot of other things I have to do throughout my day. And, you know, I just get a little caught up with everything. And there's a lot to do. And what do you do? Um, where the fuck is that bowl? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, so... Two tablespoons of oil, lemon juice, and seasonings. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. I mean, I can, but I can't. And I don't want to, you know. Do you cry? Start over? I'm not going to start, uh, like, that's a weird thought. Because, no, you don't have to start over. You just got to do this other part. That would be very strange if I just dumped everything in the garbage. was like, you're right. Fuck, fuck this. You know. Okay. Um. Lemon juice and seasonings. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm supposed to use more cumin now. God damn it. <laughs> Oregano, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, and pepper flakes. I, I should have gotten this stuff ready before. I'm kind of mad at myself for not doing it. But you know me. I'm always looking for a reason to be mad at myself. So, uh, Garlic powder. Chili powder, I just had it. How do how do you lose something that quickly? Okay. Red powder, chili powder. Paprika. Red pepper flakes. Alright, now I feel like there's more cumin in here somewhere. Do you say cumin or do you say common or what do you say? I don't even know. I think uh, Sean Patton has a bit about that, doesn't he? Anyways, uh, let's see here. What's that one? Turmeric, that's for some crazy stuff. Curry? No, I don't think that could work. Right. There. Okay. Now, if I could find. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's fucking do it. No, no, I keep, I keep starting and stopping with the Cuban thing. We're just going to skip the Cuban. I'm sorry, everybody. If it ruins your night, I understand. I know there's a lot of Cuban fans out there. So, you know, I, I, but I got to, I got to move. I got to get stuff done. I got to make these potato lays, you know, I got to do stuff. And lemon juice. Do not have any, I don't have any fake lemon juice. I got to get the real shit. Oh. God, I'm so fucking done. Okay. Oh. Is it in here? I don't know where I put it. Whatever. Okay, we gotta cut lemons. Anyways, welcome back to goddamn shit chaos. With your friend, chaos bullshit fucker fist. Will I help you find the seven dragon balls? I can't even find fucking cumin. So, no. Lime can work. Yeah, I don't want... Yeah, maybe. Do I have lime juice? Maybe I'll do that. I'll do, I, you know, I did just cut a lemon. I can do it half and half. Well, how much do I need? Oh, I only need two tablespoons. Wait, paprika could be a substitute for cumin? Well, paprika's already in there, so. More pea sounds. Yeah, I'll just use those lemons or something else. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I just have so much to do. I got so much to get ready here. Okay. And. Cut the lemon. I'll still use lemon. Don't worry. I'm going to put it in my tea tonight. I'll figure something out. Okay, so one and a half teaspoons of seasoned salt. Oh, seasoned salt. Okay. I do have some of that. And honestly, there's a special brand I'm going to use for uh, 
Taco John stuff, but this is going to be different. Okay, there's that. One and a half teaspoons of oregano. Another thing I forgot to get out. It's right here, thank God. Okay, and yes, I did account for the fact that some was falling into the bowl. All right, what else do we need? Half a teaspoon of chili powder. What else do we need? Half a teaspoon of paprika, which we are going to do. Oh, we're gonna do two teaspoons. I'm almost, I'm also almost out of paprika, which is fine. Everything's fine. Man, I can need to go get some spices, huh? There's one teaspoon's worth. And, um, man, I normally check my spice load, <laughs> like poop or cum, uh, before uh, the show, and I didn't. So, okay, I ran out of paprika. What I want to do is two teaspoons of paprika. Since I ran out of cumin, we'll just do, but I ran out of paprika, too, so I did one teaspoon of... <laughs> Jesus. What a fucking shit show today is. It's crazy. Anyways, if you didn't see that, what I did is I just spilled a lot on the bowl, but it's it's fine. Okay. Yep, not enough cumin in my spice love. I wish I could make a cock joke out of that, but I'm just not good at comedy. Okay. What else do I need in there? A teaspoon of garlic powder? Hell yeah. Chili powder, paprika, red pepper flakes. All right, let's get this stupid chicken out of the way. Huh? Where's my, get one more pair of gloves and play. I'll need them again, actually. Just dump it in. You know, I don't want chicken all over the place. I'm making too much food, and I don't want uh, raw chicken all over my everything. Yeah. You know? So I'm going to get this stuff all mixed up and I'll just set it for like, I'll just get everything else going and then just set it. It'll be fine. It's a bummer though, man. It's, it's a bummer. It's, it's a bummer. Yeah. Whatever. So if it doesn't matter, I mean, you know, it's just fajitas, right? Like it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, it just needs to taste good. And so it's going to taste good. So good job to all of us. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hands real quick and get the potatoes ready to be laid. Okay. All right, there's that great IKEA shredder everybody loves. Okay. Oh man, there's so much to do left. This is fucking crazy. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so. Oh, maybe I should do stuff that the people can see that are watching, huh? Oh, 
Am I watching YouTube chefs? No. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Hey, One sec. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. Dumb asshole. Do what I tell you to do, you fucking robot. Okay. <laughs> that yet. I'll do a clean dishcloth. Oh man, I just, uh, I gave myself too much to do today, everybody. Too much to do. Too much to do. Um, and maybe I shouldn't do the potatoes thing in here, because this is what, well, too late I already did it. Darren and I were doing that with the lefsa, you know. And I think what I'll do, well, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Very sticky stuff. A lot of your friends don't like whitest kids, and you're still calling them your friends, huh? Yeah. These are potatoes. Oh, were you actually asking if they were cheese? I thought you were being silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make potato lays. You know what potato lays are? Well, you can Google them. It's uh, Taco John's is a Midwestern taco chain. I'm from the Midwest and I live there. And uh, they're good. Man, I'm getting sick of these little chunks of potatoes that don't shred. You live here in Iowa, you hate it so much sometimes. Yeah, I live in South Dakota, so I beat you in shittiness, I think. Maybe. At least you have made right in cities. You're doing carnitas? Alright. Taco mayo and their spe spicy potato things. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, Lawrence, Kansas probably has some. That's that's uh, that's within uh, the Taco John's fucking sphere of influence. Yeah, dude, potato lays are good. So what's happening is I'm going to I'm slow and behind on everything that I'm trying to do right now, which is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um. But uh, I'm going to be making homemade potato lace. And my brother will be showing up soon with uh, the real potato lace. And we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do, actually, before I finish this, I'm going to get the fucking oil going. So I can at least do some. Okay. Dad Callisto, i got to call you out for your real dumb comment you just made. This is a show where I cook, right? And, like, I'm making things, and I'm following recipes. So 
instead of just like random half sentences that aren't really questions but more comments it's like what if you just waited to see what I do like you think this recipe for making something to taste like fast food is not going to involve salt god damn right it will involve salt you know Here, Sil, where are you that the town next to you has Taco Jets? Timmy just added the salt. Thank you, Punish Rollers. All right, my brother is at the drive up window. I better get this oil going so that the store bought or restaurant bought potato lays are still hot. Um, all right, we're going to put those up here. Starting to panic. Okay. Yes, they're like tater tots. So basically what they are is they're basically flat tater tots with little circles, and then they put a special spice mix on them. Ugh, I'm getting this shit everywhere and on my nice shoes that you guys can't even see. Why am I wearing them? I'm going to take them off now. That will be even worse. All right, Judgy McJudgerson says, good God, I hope that wasn't canola oil. It was. I'm just frying stuff in it. Like, it's fine. I kind of know what JoJo's are. I'm only wearing my shoes in the house right now because uh, I, I hardly ever do. In fact, there was a Reddit conversation about me. Because one thing I've learned about being on Twitch now in 2021 is, like, instead of, like, watching us be funny on a TV show now, it's just about analyzing every fucking atom of every second of everything we do and trying to just to like drive us to suicide so i guess that's what fandom is now that's fine anyways um i enjoy it No, I mean, a lot of you guys are fun. It's great. No, but on Reddit, they do like to analyze. And so they were like, why does Timmy not wear shoes in the house? And everybody, you know, it's normally one person posts something shitty and then all the cool people, because most of our paints are cool, like 99.9%, .9%, right? So everybody else is like, what do you fucking mean? You wear your shoes in the house, you piece of shit? <laughs> so I'm doing a quick version. I know I could shred the rest of the potatoes, whatever. Um, I'm just trying to move. My brother's going to be here soon. Yeah, I want to get this done. Uh, yeah, today was a little bit too chaotic for me. I don't want it to be this chaotic, but it was. Exactly. Well, I'm wearing my shoes in the house right now just because I had them on and I've been running around. It happens, all right? But and now I've got wet potatoes all over the floor, so I'm not going to st get stripped down. I don't know if you could say taking your socks off or shoes off has stripped down. Anyways, I'm not going to strip down. And, uh, you know, do that. I'll just throw these parts away. I don't need to mess a lot of shit. All right, I gotta get this stuff off my hands. <sighs> okay. Okay, so 
back to, if this thing asks for cumin, I'm going to scream. It doesn't. Okay, cool. Need onion powder, which is this one. No, that's garlic salt. Man, I just don't have anything figured out today. This is really bad. Someone, so I guess you title this one, Timmy Loses His Mojo, which she didn't have going very well in the first place. Flour, garlic powder. Like, here's how bad I was this week. I didn't know until right now that this recipe involves flour. I just, just was not paying attention. Craziness. <laughs> now I just put in too much onion powder. <gasps> it's okay. All right. This calls for dill. I'm not going to put dill in it. Because this recipe that I'm using is actually for, for tater tots, but, you know, it's, uh, um, it's going to work out, I believe. I think it's going to taste enough like potato lays that it'll be fun. Salt and pepper, don't mind if I do. David? Oh, I probably got that oil too hot too, shit. How's Barb? Well, I don't know where you've been. There's my brother, David. But uh, Barbara's no longer with us. But tonight, she actually stopped by again and said it's my new neighbor is out of town. So. One bucket of Olay's? Sweet. You want to come on? It's, uh, it's extra messy. I've been so clean lately, and you're not going to believe me because tonight's fucking insane. I just... I haven't streamed in two weeks. And here comes Brother David with a potato lays. Everybody say hi to David. Hello. Hello. Uh, this, the camera's bigger than you think because I got the chat in the way. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. um, we're going to just do some right now. Okay, so the mixture should be workable but dry. Four potatoes at a time. So we're going to uh, actually bust out those potato lays. Okay. Show the camera what they look All like. Right. Oh! I dropped one already. How do you like that? That's what they look like. See? So I'm going to make that. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, throw just a little scrap into the oil to see if it's ready. Hell yeah. All right. The mixture should be workable but dry. All right, dude. We're just going to try a couple, right? Like, not Sounds a whole good. bunch right now. So, I'm going to take a little bit. Oh, it might be a little too sticky. Uh, it's okay. The important part, David, is I'm going to make mm -hmm. the mixture. You know? Oh, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I patted these dry enough. So, there's one. Right? Sure. Do you think I it'll stay know. together? Huh? I don't know. We'll see if those welds hold. I've been watching a uh, sword making show. So oh, yeah? It supplies weirdly a lot to a lot of the strange phrases in my head. It's okay to drop when you're doing your... Oh, Boner, shut the fuck up. I know Boner. I can tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> also, I tell other people to shut the fuck up, so shut the fuck up. You're worried about my brother David? Oh, that's the person who is worried about everything. It's fine. They're like, is this canola oil? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Dude, this is... <sighs> can you reach up there and get the flour? This is bullshit. All right. <laughs> Everything's just been crazy today. Normally, lately, I've been on point on this show. Finishing early, you know? Uh, transfer to a paper towel lined plate. I just didn't have anything ready today. Um, that's fine, though. Can you reach behind you and get those paper towels? Yeah. 
Can you uh, put a couple on there? So there's real potato lays. Here's fake ones. That's a little overdone too, but watch your hands. Okay. But you can see what it looks like, right? It kind of oh, looks yeah. like one, right? Yep. So let's get the, uh, okay. Let's just get a bowl out and get Lowry seasoning salt, which is behind you. Oh, fuck. All right, well. We've all night been joking about the fact that I ran out of cumin. Well, in order for me to properly replicate this recipe, guess what I need? Fucking cumin. So, I have some cumin seed that I can maybe, you know, mm -hmm. grind. But I was starting to wash out my coffee grinder. I had like a smoothie machine that would be perfect, but I don't know where it went. That's what I was looking for earlier. But maybe David can help me. Yeah, I know I need Lowry. Shut up. Time out, time me out again. There's my timer. Uh, Where my, 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 my. No, don't, don't, no, it's not in there. Dude, I'm sorry, my hands are all sticky. Can you turn my timer off? Do you know how an iPhone works? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, you do. I'm, I'm too old for phones now. Are you, are you, th did you have a birthday? He didn't no. have a birthday. Uh-uh. Unless you're a half birthday person, but we don't talk to them. This... The edge of the can is good for using like a pestle and mortar. Okay. Quirky, that's the first useful thing you've said all night, and I'm sorry I timed you. I'm not sorry I timed you out earlier. You're being a shithead. But thank you for saying that. Okay. Well, we're just going to throw a couple in there. Yeah. This is just, you know, I feel like I just need to work it more, man. Yep. Fuck it. Oh, this is what I need to do, right? Just fucking beat the shit out of this thing. Okay. Now, do you know, are you afraid of Instant Pots? I don't know anything about them. Go hit that, see that black button? The little black button? No, behind the handle. Little black. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Man, this is... What's in there? Pinto beans. Pinto beans. Cool. Man, nothing is turning out exactly it's how I sticking. want it today. Yeah. They look like cookies. They, they look, look like, like macarons, those, uh, macarons that I make at Christmas. Remember how good those mm -hmm. are, the ones I made? I made are them on stream. taste like that? No, these are not going to taste like that. Okay. We're just going to make a couple... Because this is a tater tot recipe, so maybe I should have not done this, but whatever. Uh, I think it's going to work. <laughs> oh, I We're going to so. make, like, a couple more. You know what I mean? Like, this is going to taste... Small. It's going to taste good. What? The lays are real small. They probably chop them. Yeah, let's, uh... You know what? Hey, can you use that tongs and turn those? You guys, I think this is going to work. This one? Yeah, dude. Turn that one. Ooh, that one's black now, isn't it? Yep. You got it? Are they staying together-ish? You got a spoon? Um, a spoon? <laughs> I just asked him if he had a spoon. A spoon is all you fit, it'll hit more. You need a spoon? I think, I think spoon. Spoon good. You got it, or you need one? Spoon would be good. Okay. That's one of my many junk That's drawers. Right. All right, man. So next up, we're going to do... Yeah, life's a junk drawer, you know? Nah, that's a junk drawer. Uh -huh. David, you opened the salt. Oh, no, you didn't. I thought you did. I was going to be happy. Okay, four teaspoons of Lowry seasoning salt. So we're just going to give this a little try. And that's it. That's it, and that's all, man. It's just for decoration. Just for decoration. Barb! Barb! It's a whistle chat! Uh-oh, David. It's starting. The thirst is starting in the chat, man. I know you like that you do that. Okay. Okay. So they're staying together at least. <clears throat> yeah. That one looks good. So I should have uh, grated instead of shredded. And I bet if we read the yeah, recipe, yeah. it says, yes, I should have grated it. Oh, I'm so stupid. You it says it right in there. Pasty yeah, the man, most, yeah. I'm so fucking dumb. Anyways, really so they don't look the same, but they're going to taste the same. All right, we got to get this uh, stuff. Okay, two teaspoons of paprika, which I also just ran out of. <laughs> Man, you know what? I'm going to do a redo of this episode sometime. It'll be called May 27th was a fucking shit show <laughs> episode. You know? Just... This is smoked paprika, not paprika. So these Too are going to be like fancy olays, but that's, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to replicate, not fans. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could have just said... <gasps> <laughs> That's the second time I did that tonight, by the way. With the smoked paprika. No, if, if you could just, like, do voiceover over this and just have that be the end product and then give me five stars. I know, right? It's up deconstruction. I'm yeah, and then I'll just, that. like, yell at somebody. 
Okay, yes. cayenne. All right, I gotta time somebody out because they're annoying me and it's time for them to shut the fuck up. Okay. I mean, and the thing is, is they're asking for it, you know? It's like a it's like a sadomasochism thing, so it's fine. If everybody gets what they want. I get to not be bothered for five minutes, and you get to fucking be by yourself and cyber jerk it. I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay, um, and then I'm supposed to put a little cumin in there. Things are already so far off fucking brand that we're not going to care. All right, dude, here we go. I'm just going to sprinkle this on the Olays, right? Oh, yeah. All right, David. Here we go. Have a regular one and then one of those. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Potato lace from Taco John's. You can't get enough of these. They're so fucking good. I'm going to have to. Exactly, two. MSG. Mm. Exactly. It's perfect. Okay. Now, can I eat this perfect one? Mm -hmm. It's overdone. Right so here's the ones I made. This one's a little. Too much. We don't Wait, know. hold on. we got to finish. Well, we gotta finish a palate cleanse. Dude, I should. You want some water for palate cleanse? Irish Catholic people don't palate cleanse. <laughs> really? We don't palate cleanse? No, just saying, no we just, just eat food by we the just fucking fish potatoes in their mouth. That's right. We love fucking <laughs> potatoes. We're Irish. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Slancho. There's some flowers in this. It's not dissimilar, right? <laughs> not dissimilar. Mm -mm. Not too much flowers. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna do all of them no, eventually. Good. That's good. They're crunchier than I thought they'd be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're not bad. They're actually pretty good. So, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. These things are going to oh, eventually be refried. Oh, nice. Um, I'm into that, I think. Right? Yeah, that's good. Homemade Olaus. Yep. And if I get some cumin and the proper paprika... I think we'd really be on our proper paprika. Proper, proper paprika. Proper paprika. Proper paprika. Proper paprika, paprika. Proper paprika. I think we'd really be onto something, right? I think so. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to do with the beans now? Everybody, say thank you to David for uh, allowing us to have that experiment. That was good. Yeah, man. Like then Williams boys. Yeah, you can take them. You don't. I'm the, you want them? You nah. Are you leaving already? I could. You're gonna leave. You don't have to leave. I think I might. <laughs> Everybody's saying thanks to you now. Okay. okay You're welcome, um, everybody. Oh, see, he's a nice guy. Stir and season the beans to taste with salt. Okay. Uh, are you leaving? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, man, thank you very much. I haven't seen you in a while. I know I've been so busy. Uh, but thank you, David. All good. You're mm -hmm. a lovely man. Thank you. Oh, there will probably be some beans left. Beans. Yeah. Farts! All right, well, these potato lids are delicious. Mm. See you later, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right, well, I shredded instead of grated, so the pieces are too big, so they didn't fit together as well. I also was missing some of the spices. However, pretty darn close to potato lids. Not shabby. All right. Next up, I'm going to splash hot oil over my face. All right. So that was panicking. Have you noticed whenever I work with shredded potatoes, I A, never do it right, because it should be grated potatoes. And B, it's just always a fucking chaotic mess. So, you know... Like, I'm talking about when I made lefse. And you know what's funny is I did try to get Darren on this episode. He wasn't able to make it. But it would be funny to bring him because he'd be like, wait, do you always just make huge, messy potato things? You know? Yeah, that's my brother. Well, I have, I'm the oldest of six, so I have different rapport with each brother. You know? David and I are just chill. You know? And I don't see, I mean, we live in the same town. I don't see him all the time. And, you know, he's busy. You know, it's okay. You guys think it's weird how I talk to him? I guess I don't care. I don't know. So beans. Let's talk about it. Is 
Does anyone call you Tim? Not in this side of my life. The other side of my life, people call me Tim. No, the whitest kids do not live near each other. I live way the fuck out in the middle of nowhere in South Dakota, but uh, my family lives nearby. All right, we're just gonna kind of try something here. So um, I just got the beans here. I'm just kind of kind of fuck around here and uh, pour some of these into this pot. About a half cup worth of water and a lot of beans. And uh, let's see what we can do here. I am now officially going off book for this. I was just talking today how I don't go off book because I'm not smart enough, but I'm about to go off book right now with the beans. We'll find out what the hell happens. It's an adventure together. Join me. All right, let's just see what this does, right? My brother David, huh? Ain't he a pip? He's a good one. Okay, meanwhile, back on the fajita ranch. Let's get that shit going. Huh? Well, now on a real cooking show, I'd pr bring out this platter of vegetables that are all cut. You'd be like, oh, he cut up the vegetables. But um, you saw me cut up the vegetables and it took too long. So, you know, it's a little more involved. All right. I also got to get my tortillas out of the fucking fridge. <sighs> so which Williams is not a good one? We're all good. Spoiler! My sister is in Stillwater, Minnesota, being the nanny for my brother Joe's children. I have another brother who lives up in North Dakota. With his child, who is named after a Star Wars actor. Not really, but sort of. And then, um, I have two other brothers here. Okay. In a large cast iron or other heavy skillet, saute peppers and onions and remaining oil until crisp and tender. Meanwhile, the beans are kind of going here. I'm going to cook those for a while. All right. My parents did really like banging. You know what, though? They were right. Is the rest of the Williams family funny, too? You know, uh, I have a lot of problems with self-esteem. However, I'm also at the same time comfortable with myself. It's a weird mix. Anyways, uh, I think I'm all right. I think my brother Joe is the funniest, but I think we're all funny. My sister is hilarious. Uh, David, who was just here, is really fucking funny. He likes it. I follow him on Twitter, and he every once in a while will tweet, and it's always like kind of strange. I appreciate it, you know? Cool. Um... Man, I'm just all over the place tonight. Okay, so, get this going. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to show this because it looks so fucking good. So, that's all the veggies cooking up for fajitas. I, I got to get some uh, 
I know, I leave so many cabinet things open when I do this because it's just. Oh, wait! The tortillas have been out all night in room temperature. Thank goodness. Ugh, ah. ah, I just ruined the fucking bed. Oh, the box! Ah. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, it smells good, right? Or it sounds good, it smells good, everything. Got the deadly chicken bowl here. Now, if you missed it, I did just make potato olays. And um, I only did five. In my calorie counting app, I gave myself ten. But uh, I kind of screwed up on some of it, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it was fun to do the taste test with David. He's a good boy. And uh, I just, I, I messed up on the potatoes, so I'm going to use the potatoes for something. But I will try the Olay's again sometime. I think what I'll do is do a fast food clone night. And I'll do potato Olay's. Um... What else is good for a fast food clone? Maybe try and make a Burger King chicken sandwich. I love that shit. You know those long square ones, you know? Taco Bravo? That'd be cool. I could do all Taco John stuff. I could make uh, potato lays, a churro, and try and do their style of soft shell taco, which I would have to find out what kind of taco seasoning they are all about in there. But, yeah. All right, the refried beans are kind of, uh, I cooked the pintos in uh, an Instant Pot. And actually, I haven't tasted them yet, which is probably stupid, but let's find out here. Well, they just taste like beans. You know, but they're good. Alright, so, here's the My harder soft shell guy. I go both. I go both. I tell you why. It just depends, okay? I love a good soft shell taco. If I go to Taco John's, I get almost always a number three. And that is taco. Well, yes, of course it's tacos. It's a uh, three. Uh, so it's two soft shell tacos. It's a number three. Two soft shell tacos, and then um, get the hot guac burn. And then a thing of potato lace. And I used to, in my chubbier days, always get the potato lace with a side of nacho cheese. Which is great. But you know what I've realized? Like, those potato lays don't fucking need anything. They just, uh, they just can be themselves. You know, they don't need fucking cheese. I love cheese. But that's not what that's about. And actually, there's no cheese in tonight's meal, you know? There's the veggies, and now I gotta get the chicken going. I'm also going to use this lid that I set aside, not knowing what I would use it for. There you go. Keep it warm. Okay, so drain the chicken, discarding the marinade. Okay, I can use this for that. That's fine. It's time to finally cook the chicken. Instead of letting it sit around trying to give everybody salmon, now all the fucking time. Okay. Um. 
everything wasn't perfect tonight and that by the book, let's think about it. The, oh, you know what? That was a dumb idea. Let's do... Even though everything was not perfect by the book tonight, it's fine. I think everything's going to be fucking good, you know? Let's check out the, the refried beans. I'm just way off the book, but here, let's see if there's anything I can do here. anything yet so I think that was a mistake but I will just season them now ah! if I get everything else cooked up yeah I'll work it out try to do things my way try to follow recipes from moms across the plains but instead I didn't I'm just kind of doing stuff and then we'll see what happens probably get sued because it spans the tiges. Life is very short. And bands will sue your fucking ass. For trying to sing their stuff in your little show. Um, alright. With a chili powder. Where's a motherfucking chili powder? Fuck, fuck you. Fucking shit, no shit. Shitty fucking shit fucks. Alright. I'm just going off book, sort of. I'm just trying to make sure this tastes good. You know? Look at how I do things. Why would it, Who cooks this way? What the fuck is this all about? I don't know if you can't tell by the one angle, but like, it's literally right in my way. Anyways. I hope everyone has enjoyed this episode of Zucchini Boys and understand why I took last week off. <laughs> it's just been crazy today. Also, it's probably crazy because I took last week off. So, maybe the lesson is I should never leave. Right? questions like that you wanted me to so kiss my fucking butt all right i don't know what you would call this Probably gonna offend the entire nation of Mexico and all of its ancestors with these refried beans, quote unquote. But they look like they might taste good, so we'll find out. You know, I, that's the first time I banned someone on stream. But they came in and asked some shitty weird thing, and then I timed them out, and then they asked, like, a similar thing again. Like, fuck them. Okay. You guys talking about American Gods? I fucking love American Gods. You've made pasties before. Or do you call them pasties, Punish Walrus? I, I made those once not on stream. My daughter and I made those. Because one of my favorite food theories that I've probably talked about is that um, every fucking culture in the, on the globe has a dish that is a pastry shell of some kind filled with like meat <laughs> you know yeah you got your calzone you got your pasty you got your uh um arepa you got your uh empanada 
So you got your uh, pierogi, but now they don't put meat. Well, they probably put meat pierogies. And of course, in Asia, you got all sorts of different kinds. You got dumplings. Uh, sometimes you got uh, fucking egg rolls. You got uh, what's the one in uh? There's sopapilla, but sopapilla doesn't have meat in it. And I don't think uh, what's the one in India? What the fuck are those called again? Anyways, they're everywhere. It's great. Oh, calzone. Did I say calzone? Sorry. Oh, stromboli. All right. Samosa. Thank you. Can I make pierogi? I would love to make some pierogi. That's a great idea. Good job. All right. Let's see if this chicken is pink. Not pink. Hey, you guys want to... Come on over to Zucchini Boys. Watch Timmy make some pink chicken. You know what I should do just to freak people out? Like, someday, it'll never happen. But it'd be really funny if this got on the front page. And I just, I knew it was going to happen. So I made something crazy like chicken that's cooked but actually looks like it's raw. Or did, did someone already do that? Did one of those crazy YouTube shows where they eat like 40 Big Macs all at once in pasta or something. Did they already do something like that? All right, this chicken is good. So... The heat is ready, Burb. You do do. Oh yeah. All right, I need to use another thing. I've used too many things to touch raw meat. That's what she said, bro. I'll just use this wooden spoon. It's fine. Now, I'm used to fajitas where you kind of keep everything separate, but this is fine, too. This is what's in the recipe. I'll just do it. I actually think uh, I used too much chicken, but that's okay. I think this is going to end up being muy sabroso. I probably fucked that up a little bit. Okay. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to call the beans done. I'm going to call everything done, I think. Yeah. Be about six servings. That's probably about right. Okay. Now I'm gonna guess that these beans are not seasoned enough, but I'll just fucking deal with that later. Also, I'm a white guy, so I have an excuse, right? Are we supposed to be terrible at that? So now, not everything went to plan. The tater, the potato lay showed up earlier. However, here's my fajita. Look at that steam. There's the refried beans. They do look right. So we'll see how they taste. All right. The burbs are back in town. The burbs. Everything's fine. Now here's the part that some people love and that drives some people crazy when I stand up and eat. Not enough seasoning. You know what? I'm going to stir some potato LA seasoning in here, right? Fuck it. Potato LA's flavored refried beans.
Yeah, I'm gonna call the refried beans not a success, but they're good. They're just no, not none of it's a fan recipe. Just me fucking fucking around printing off recipes off the internet. No. And if it was a family recipe, look at me. If if someone that looks like this came from a fan said they had a family recipe for refried beans, would you trust them? Yeah. How was the meal tonight? I don't know. I'm about to find out. That's not bad. I look like I'd be secretly Mexican like Louis C.K. Well, let me tell you, that's where the similarities end with that guy. Hmm. You know what I should do? I should put some off. Uh, taste of fresco on that, too. On the beans. Anyways, I cooked a bunch of beans. They're all right. Every time I break these plates out, somebody says, I have those plates. They're everywhere. It's crazy. Sherm, I'm going to tell him you said that. Sherm says, everything's been a win tonight. I wish David would have stayed around until the chat could finish. My brother David was here, and he's a good-looking guy. Yeah, they're just bland, so I just need to put more stuff in them. They're maybe a little on the undone-ish side. I think they're all right, though. Mmm. The heat is great. Ertl Tal, you showed up too late. But you're right. They did need some crunch. So what I did is I attempted to replicate Taco John's potato lays. I did the potatoes. I shredded the potatoes instead of grating them. So they're kind of big and chunky. And then I did. And then I ran out of the right spices I need for the potato lay seasoning. But it's still, they were good. I've not read Darren's story. Is it about me? I know that's a weird question, but everybody's has been about me so long. It is about me. Oh, God. I can't wait to read it. You know, maybe that's what we should do with the Patreon. By the way, if you subscribe to our Patreon starting at the $5 level, every week you get an erotic story. They call it erotic parody, but I was when I wrote mine, I was straight up shooting for people to come. Anyways, you get a parody erotic story written by a, whitest kid, a different Whitest Kids member every week. No, I'm still working on the... Baked beans came. I'll get there. Yeah, you know, I'm just ne I've never been good at cooking beans. I don't know why. The baked beans I tried were not great. These are like, eh, you know. Anyways, if anybody made a Zucchini Boy's Best of a Reel, this episode's not going to be on it. 
But thank you to everybody for hanging out. Mm. The fajitas are great. I love a fucking fajita. Game time? No. No, not tonight, man. I, I gotta go. I wanna go here in a minute. I need another fajita, though. Oh, it's fucking great. Spice levels in the fajita are good. And the uh, usage of the uh, smoked parm? Parm. I'm sure smoked parm would be great. Uh, the smoked paprika was good. Just joining, this is what the fajitas look like. Got chicken, uh, green, red, yellow, bell peppers, onion, and green onion. Anyways, and the beans are a little dry. I just, I just, I feel like I always fuck them up. Whatever. But, hold on. I did just cook the pinto beans, and the recipe for the pinto beans seemed good. So maybe I'll just try some of the pinto beans. As well. There we go. Can I eat the whole fajita in one bite? You know, there's a lot of stuff I could eat in one bite. This isn't one of them. Not a bad idea, Greed Zephyr. Thank you. <laughs> Agent Looper, thank you for joining us. Uh, so, w if you like watch go into a movie late, you'd be like, So, this is Star Wars? What? Half the cast is already split up and they already killed Jabba the Hutt? No, the Kingdom Boys are not just me eating, but if you show up two hours into it, it fucking is. So, this is what the Terminator 2 is, huh? Just a bunch of fucking credits, huh? What? Seven o'clock showing. I showed up at nine thirty. What's the fucking deal? It's just a bunch of credits. Yeah, dude. Me, me eating the food, standing up like a fucking dad, like I am. That's the. That's like the. That's like the mid credit scene, right? It's like that really disappointing one in Agent Age of Ultron where he just it says like I have the I got the glove now or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, Punish Walrus, as soon as I went to Terminator 2, I'm like, oh, I forgot that's a Wednesday sketch too. But the thing is, you fucked up the line though, and my favorite that's my favorite part of the line. Can we just acknowledge that this is exactly like the plot of The Terminator 2? I love the usage of the in it. Okay, so potato lays happened earlier, and I didn't eat very many of them. Um, there's a Midwestern taco, fast food fast food taco chain in the Midwest called uh, Taco Jocks. And the tacos are all right, and, you know, they do other stuff like that, but potato lays look like tater tots, only they're like flat little circles instead of the barrel shapes, right? And then they put this spice mixture on them, and they're good. So I tried to replicate that, but I forgot to check all my spices before I started tonight. 
So even though I was making three different Mexican food things, I fucking left uh, for uh, ran out of cumin. Cumin, how about you say it? Carmen. And uh my normal paprika ran out, so you smoke paprika. Anyways, it's good. When you feel like snacking, how do you stop or distract yourself? Um, I just gotta not do it. It's really hard to, you just don't do it. I, I don't, like, I just kind of sit there. I chew gum, drink tea, those help. Well, I think that's about it. So the beans are alright. The heat is a fucking bang on. The potato legs were good too. I just can't. I don't know. I feel like part of it's funny because I love to resist people making references to the sketches that I'm in. But uh, I feel like the subtitle of Zucchini Boys over the last year should be Zucchini Boys. Timmy tries to figure out how to make beans. You know? Zucchini boys, maked beans. All right, so, got a little fajita kit here. There's some more peppers and onion. So I'll do, and I have more fajita mix left over, but uh, do that for when I want to do more, maybe with some steak. The beans, I don't know. I just, they just, I just can't get them to work. Anyways, I'm done. So thank you everybody for hanging out. This is a shorter, not short, it's about a normal episode, but everything was kind of weird. And uh, thank you for hanging out and watching me. I'm really glad David showed up. Um, I guess I'll see who's there to raid. I didn't really think about that. Try the beans tomorrow? That's a good idea. I'm just going to put them on here. The mushed ones and the not mushed ones, and I'm just gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna figure it the fuck out tomorrow. I'm gonna put them in there with the liquid. I'm gonna cook them again tomorrow and just see what happens. Maybe I should get some bacon fried up. And I could just leave that sentence at that because that's never a bad idea. But I could get some bacon fried up and put them in there. Did David leave me other things? No, he took he took his bean. Where the fuck did I put that lid? Anyways. Oh, and I can't see chat right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Start breaking shit? Yeah. Always an option. Yep, the fajitas were the best part for sure. I think I overate a little bit though with those. So, okay. I really don't know where I put the lid though. There it is. No, you're good, Quirky. I like it when someone uh, redeems themselves like you did. Free food. Yeah, let's raid Brent Weinbach. Why not? All right, have a good night, everybody. Love y'all. Enjoy Brent Weinbach. Yeah, the cooking is done, SD Pride. I started at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, which is 7 p.m. So I just got done. I'm actually about to raid Brent Weinbach. So, yeah, sorry, buddy. But you should text me, man. I texted you. Uh, no, we've been talking. Anyways, I hope you're doing good. Okay.
That's one of my best friends. Okay, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Be nice to Brent.